Hello everyone, today I'm releasing my new Rogue UI and Wikoras pack covering all three specs, the Assassination, Outlaw and Subtlety Rogue. All my user interfaces are entirely free, so you can proceed to download them from my website link in the description below. In the links, you will also find two videos. The first video is a basic guide on how you can install my user interfaces in Wikoras, and more importantly, customize them to track your own trinkets, your own spells, and other advanced logic. The second video is a 90 minute long VOD, showing you how I built the entire UI from scratch together with Twitch chat, using Windwalker as an example. All these revamped Wikoras are also now foreign language compatible, so it works even if you're not playing the English version of the game. And with that out of the way, let me walk you through the components of the Wikoras and user interfaces for every single spec so you know exactly how they function after you import it into your own game. First, let's start off with the assassination rogue, talking about the first row of icons. The top row tracks your rotational abilities, which is the bread and butter of the buttons you will press. Naturally, when your abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and grayed out. As usual, we do not track abilities that do not have a cooldown associated with them. For certain abilities, we track the duration of the debuff on the target with a glow condition so you know when to refresh your debuff on the target. The core abilities here are Garrot and Rupture, both of which comes with a glow condition that alerts you that the debuff is running out on the target and you will need to reapply the debuff. We also track Envenom, Vendetta, Crimson Tempest, Hidden Blades, Poison Bomb, followed by your Covenant abilities which will change depending on which Covenant you chose. If you'd like to track an unused trinket in this row, you can. My how to install video will show you how to customize the icons. The second row tracks your utilities and cooldowns. That includes Shadow Stab, Cloak, Fain, Evasion, Crimson Vile, Shroud, Sprint, Blind, Kidney, etc. And moving on to the elements above the icon, you will see a small horizontal yellow bar that represents your combo point built up. Depending on whether you have deep stratagem talented or not, these yellow combo points will display 5 or 6 combo points respectively. You will also see a light orange bar along with a white figure in the middle that denotes your current energy levels. Above that is a buff bar that tracks various important buffs and duration, including Vendetta, Killing Spree, Stealth, Slice and Dice, Tricks, Cloak, Feint, Evasion, Crimson Vial, etc. And that concludes the Assassination Rogue, let's move on to talk about the Outlaw spec. For the Outlaw Rogue, similarly, the top row tracks your rotational abilities and anything that is on cooldown will have its icon desaturated and greyed out. The key abilities tracked are Between the Eyes, Roll the Bones, Adrenaline Rush, Pistol Shot, which only becomes coloured when you have a proc available, else Pistol Shot remains desaturated. We also track Blade Flurry, Killing Spree, and Blade Rush. This row then rounds off with your Covenant abilities that changes based on your Covenant. The second row of icons then track your cooldowns and utilities, including Grappling Hook, Cloak, Feint, Evasion, Crimson Vial, Shroud, Sprint, Blind, Kidney, etc. Moving on to the elements above the icons, you will see some yellow horizontal bars that represent your combo points built up. Depending on whether you have deeper stratagem talented or not, these yellow combo points will display 5 or 6 combo points respectively. You will also see a light orange bar along with a white figure in the middle that denotes your current energy levels. Above that is a buff bar that tracks all your important buffs and durations. This is especially important for an outlaw rogue since you're spending your time rolling for buffs. All the buffs specific to an Outlaw Rogue is tracked, including Skull and Crossbones, True Bearing, Grand Melee, Buried Treasure, Ruthless Precision. All these buffs come with notes that signify what they do for you, which is helpful for beginners to learn Outlaw Rogues. The buff bar also tracks other standard Rogue buffs, including Stealth, Slice and Dice, Tricks, Sprint, etc. And that sums up the Outlaw spec, let's talk about the last spec, the Subtlety Rogue. For the Subtlety Rogue, the top row similarly tracks your rotational abilities, anything on cooldown is desaturated and greyed out. For certain abilities, we track the duration of the debuff on the target with a glow condition so you know when to refresh your debuff. The key abilities tracked here include Rupture, which is a glow condition to alert you when you need to refresh the debuff as it is falling off. The role also includes Symbol of Death, Shadow Dance, Shadow Blades, Secret Technique, Shuriken, Tornado, Black Powder. It then finishes off with your Covenant abilities that changes based on your Covenant. The second row of icons then track your cooldowns and utilities including Shadow Step, Cloak, Feint, Evasion, Crimson Vial, Shroud, Sprint, Blind, Kidney, etc. Moving on to the elements above the icons, you will also see small horizontal yellow bars that represent your combo point built up. Depending on whether you have deeper stratagem talented or not, 
these yellow combo points to display 5 or 6 combo points respectively. You will also see a light orange bar alongside a white figure that denotes how much energy you currently have. Above that all is a buff bar that tracks various important buffs and duration to a subtlety role, including symbols of death, shadow dance, shadow blade, stealth, slice and dice, tricks, sprint, cloak, etc. And that my friends sums up the walkthrough of my UI for all three specs of a rogue in the Shadowlands. You can find a step-by-step -step video install guide in the description below. It covers how to install the UI in three simple steps, as well as some answers to frequently asked questions, including how to track your own abilities, trinkets, how to move the weak auras and resize them, amongst other questions. My website where you download the user interfaces also has detailed instructions on how to install them. All feedback and questions are welcomed. For feedback, definitely drop them in my Discord community and I'll update the weak auras over time to address bug fixes and errors. If you have questions about the user interface, feel free to drop by my live stream. I stream most days of the week. My Twitch handle is in the description below. Happy to answer your questions live. If this video was helpful to you, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily World of Warcraft videos and I will also release class week auras for all the other classes in World of Warcraft. Lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for supporting me. You folks make it possible for me to build and maintain the user interfaces for all the classes and a big thank you to you for supporting this video and for using the user interfaces. Take good care and I'll see you soon.